Magandang buhay at mabuting tao. I am Sir CJ Luna and I'll be your guide in learning the operations on rational numbers. This video lesson is made to help you master the nature of rational numbers and its operations. It is divided into four lessons. First is the addition and subtraction of fractions. Second, multiplication and division of fractions. Third is the addition and subtraction of decimals. And lastly is the multiplication and division of decimals. Based on the learning competency, this video lesson will help you perform operations on rational numbers. Specifically, you are expected to learn basic concepts of rational numbers, perform operations on fractions, and perform operations on decimals. The fundamental operations do not only apply to integers but also in fractions. Kaya ngayon, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano mag-add at mag-subtract ng mga fractions. First, we have similar fractions. Similar fractions are fractions with the same denominators. For example, we have 3 fourths and 7 fourths. They are similar because they have the same denominator, which is 4. Another is 5 over 11 and negative 2 over 11. In adding or subtracting similar fractions, add or subtract the numerators and just simply copy the denominator. In symbols, we have a over b plus or minus c over b is equal to a plus or minus c all over b, wherein b should not be equal to 0, otherwise it is undefined. Examples. Perform the operation on the following fractions. Let's say we have 5 over 10 plus 3 over 10. These two fractions are similar fractions because they have the same denominator, which is 10. So all we have to do is combine the numerators. So we have 5 plus 3. And then we will just copy the denominator 10. 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 over 10. But this is not yet the final answer. 8 over 10 can still be expressed in lowest term, which is 4 over 5. And that's our answer. Number 2, we have 12 over 7 plus 9 over 7. Again, we are dealing with similar fractions. So we will just copy the numerators 12 plus 9 over 7. And then 12 plus 9 is equal to 21. Copy the denominator 7 and then simplify our answer. 21 divided by 7 is equal to 3. And that's our answer. Let's have examples for subtraction. Let's say we have 9 over 4 minus 17 over 4. So again, since they are similar fractions, we will just subtract the numerators. 9 minus 17 and then copy the denominator 4. 9 minus 17 is negative 8 over 4. Simplify our answer, we get negative 2. Okay? Next, example number 4. 11 over 15 minus 6 over 15. So, subtract the numerators, we have 11 minus 6 all over the common denominator, 15. 11 minus 6 is equal to 5 over 15. The GCF of our numerator and denominator is 5. Therefore, the final answer is 1 over 3. How about if our denominators are different? We have what we call dissimilar fractions. Dissimilar fractions are fractions with different denominators. For example, we have 3 over 7 and 5 over 4. They are dissimilar fractions because they have different denominators. Another example is negative 4 over 9 and 2 over 3. In adding or subtracting the similar fractions, change the fractions into similar fractions using the least common denominator or LCD. And then we will proceed as in adding similar fractions. In symbols, we have A over B 
plus or minus C over D is equal to A D plus or minus B C all over B D. Examples in adding and subtracting the similar fractions. Number one is 3 over 4 plus 1 half. So here we have different denominators. We have dissimilar fractions. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to make them similar. So paano? Kukuri natin yung kanilang LCD. Ano ang denominator ng ating first fraction? It is 4. Ang second fraction naman ay 2 ang kanyang denominator. So ano ang LCD ng 3 fourth at 1 half? Okay, the LCD is 4. So now we will proceed to the next step. We will divide our LCD to the denominator and then multiply it to the numerator. So 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. 1 times 3 is 3. And then we have plus. Next, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Times 1 equals 2. Okay? So we now have this equation. Now let's simplify. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 over 4. And that's already the final answer since it's already in the lowest term. Number 2. We have 5 over 3 plus 2 over 5. So again, we have to make our fractions similar. So the LCD of 5 thirds and 2 fifths is 15. So we have now our denominator 15. So now divide 15 by the denominators and then multiply it to the numerators. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Plus 15 divided by 5 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. So, 25 plus 6 is equal to 31 over 15. 31 over 15 is already in lowest term. So, this is our answer now. Let us now have examples for subtraction of dissimilar fractions. Number 3, we have 3 over 5 minus 1 half. So, our denominators are different. So, we have to make them similar by getting the LCD. What's the LCD of 3 fifth and 1 half? That's 10. So our denominator now is equal to 10. So divide 10 by the denominators and then multiply it to the numerators. 10 divided by 5 is 2 times 3 is 6 minus 10 divided by 2, 5. 5 times 1, 5. 6 minus 5 is 1 over 10. And this is already in, expressed in lowest term, so that's our answer for number 3. Let's have number 4. 7 over 10 minus 4 over 5. So the LCD is 10. So now, our denominator is 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1 times 7 is still 7. Minus 10 divided by 5 is 2. 2 times 4 equals 8. What is 7 minus 8? Correct, it's negative 1. And then, over 10. And that's our answer. So, ganun lang ang pag-add at pag-subtract ng mga similar or dissimilar fractions. Okay? Proceed tayo sa multiplication of fractions. The product of two fractions is the product of the numerators divided by the product of the denominators. In symbols, we have A over B times C over D is equal to A times C, AC, over B times D, BD, wherein BD should not be equal to zero. Let's now perform multiplication on the following fractions. Example number one, let's say we have 4 over 7 
times 7 over 12. So multiply the numerators 4 times 7 over the product of the denominators 7 times 12. So from here, we can tell that we have the same factors. So we can use cancellation. We can cancel 7 and 7. So we only have now 4 over 12. But 4 over 12 can still be simplified by 3. So our answer now is 1 over 3. Example number 2. 9 over 11 times 33 over 63. So again, get the product of the numerators and then the product of the denominators. 9 times 33 all over 11 times 63. So you don't have to multiply these numbers. Okay? So look for factors wherein you can use cancellation method. From this example, we can cancel 11 and 33 by 11. So this will become 3 and 11 is 1. Aside from this, we can also cancel 9 and 63 by 9. 9 will become 1 and 63 is 7. So now we can get the final answer. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 7 is 7. So our answer is 3 over 7. Let us now have the last operation for fractions, which is division. The quotient of two fractions is the product of the dividend and the reciprocal of the divisor. In symbols, we have this one. Okay? So that means when we are getting the quotient, first we have to get the reciprocal of the divisor and then proceed to multiplication. Perform the operation on the following fractions. Example number one, we have 3 over 2 divided by 6 over 5. So as we have mentioned a while ago, when we are dividing fractions, first step is we have to get the reciprocal of the divisor. So 3 over 2 will remain 3 over 2. And then 6 over 5 will become 5 over 6. And then from division, we will proceed to multiplication. So now we will multiply the numerators and then multiply the denominators. But we can cancel. We can use cancellation. 3 and 6, they can be cancelled by dividing the GCF 3. So 3 becomes 1 and 6 becomes 2. So now we can simplify our answer. 1 times 5 is 5 and 2 times 2 is 4. That's our answer for number 1. Example number 2. 5 over 6 divided by 7 over 8. So copy the dividend, 5 over 6, get the reciprocal of the divisor, 7 over 8, 8 over 7, and then proceed to multiplication. Can we use cancellation? Yes, we can cancel 8 and 6 by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4, 6 divided by 2 is 3. And our answer now is 5, of, 5 times 4, 20, 3 times 7, 21. So the answer is 20 over 21. So ganun lang ang pag-divide ng mga fractions. Una, kukunin mo yung reciprocal ng divisor and then you multiply. Let us now move on to decimals. Just like integers and fractions, we can also add, subtract, multiply, and divide decimals. To add or subtract decimals, you have to align the given decimals according to their corresponding place values, and then add or subtract the decimal numbers just like whole numbers. And lastly, affix the decimal point. 
Let us have examples in adding and subtracting decimals. Number 1. Add 2.7 and 4.53. So as we have mentioned a while ago, the first thing to do is you have to align the decimals according to their place values. So we have 2.7 plus 4.53. We can add 0 para pantay yung ating mga decimals. So, 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. Write down 2, carry 1. 1 plus 2 plus 4 is 7. And then, affix the decimal point. So, our answer is 7.23. Next, example number 2. Add 34.29 and 16.86. So, again, we will write our decimals in vertical form. And we have this. 9 plus 6 is equal to 15. Carry 1. 1 plus 2 plus 8 is equal to 11. Carry 1. 1 plus 4 plus 6 is equal to 11. Carry 1. 1 plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 5. So the answer is... 51.15 Example number 3 Subtract 78.06 minus 45.231 Align our decimals, we have this one now, and we can put 0 to our first decimal. 0 minus 1 cannot be, so we'll borrow 1 from 6. We have 10, and then 6 becomes 5. 10 minus 1, that is 9. 5 minus 3 equals 2. 0 minus 2, again, cannot be. Borrow 1 from 8. We have now 10, and 8 becomes 7. 10 minus 2, that is 8. 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. And 7 minus 4, that is 3. So the answer for number 3 is 32.829. Example number 4. Subtract 473.5 minus 350.1. So again, we have to align our decimals. So we have this one now. 5 minus 1 equals 4. Decimal point. 3 minus 0 is 3. 7 minus 5 is 2. 4 minus 3 equals 1. So, we have 123.4 as the answer for item number 4. So, ganun lang kadali mag-add at mag-subtract ng mga decimals. This time, I'll teach you how to multiply decimals. To multiply decimals, First, you have to arrange the decimal numbers in column. And second, multiply the decimal numbers just like what we are doing in multiplication of whole numbers. Then, count the total number of decimal places and show it in the product. Let's try example number one. Multiply 3.65 times 0 0.21. So, we will write our decimals in column. We have now this. And then we will proceed to multiplication. We will start from, from the right. So, 5 times 1 is equal to 5. And then 6 times 1 is 6. 3 times 1 is 3. Second, we have now 5 times 2. That is 10. So, write down 0, carry 1. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 1. That is 13. So, carry 1. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1. That's 7. And then, the third digit is 0. So, we have zeros. Proceed to addition. So, bring down 5. 6 plus 0 is 6. 
3 plus, 3 plus 3 is 6. And then 7 plus 0, 7. And then bring down 0. So looking at our first decimal, we have two decimal places. For the second decimal, 0 0.21, we also have two decimal places. That means our product should have four decimal places. So the answer now is 0 0.7665. Let us have another example. Multiply 2.84 and 7.3. So we have to write our decimals in column. So we will multiply from the right. 4 times 3 is 12, so write down 2, carry 1. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 1, 25. So write down 5, carry 2. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 equals 8. Next, we have 7 times 4, that's 28. Write down 8, carry 2. 8 times 7 is 56, plus 2, 58, carry 5. 2 times 7, 14, plus 5 is 19. And we will now proceed to addition. Bring down 2. 5 plus 8 is 13. So carry 1. Plus 8 plus 8. The answer is 17. Carry 1. Plus 9 is 10. So 0 carry 1 plus 1, 2. So in our first decimal, it has two decimal places. And our second decimal has one decimal place. So all in all, we have three decimal places for our product. So the answer should be 20.732. Last part of our lesson is about the division of decimals. To divide decimals, we have to multiply both the divisor and the dividend by the same multiple to make the divisor a whole number. The multiple to be multiplied is based on the last decimal place of the divisor. And lastly, divide just like in dividing whole number and put the decimal point in the quotient directly above the decimal point in the dividend. First example, 48.4 divided by 2.2. Since the decimal place of the divisor ends in the tenths place, then the multiple to be multiplied in both dividend and divisor should be 10. So for our dividend, we have 48.4 times 10 is equal to 484. Divisor, 2.2 times 10 is equal to 22. Now we're ready to divide. We have 484 divided by 22. So we have two digits. 48 divided by 22, that's equal to 2. Because 2 times 22 is 44. And then we will subtract. 48 minus 44 is equal to 4. And then we have to bring down 4. 44 divided by 22 is equal to 2. And 20, 22 times 2 is 44. And we have 0 difference now. So the quotient is 22. That's our answer. Second example. 78.6 divided by 0 0.12. Here, the decimal place of the divisor ends in the hundreds place. That means we have to multiply our dividend and divisor by 100. So for the dividend, we have 78.6 times 100, that's equal to 7,860. And for the divisor, we have 0 0.12 times 100, that is equal to 12. Now we're ready to divide our numbers. 7,860 divided by 12. We will start with 78. 
78 divided by 12 is equal to 6. 6 times 12 is equal to 72. And then subtract. 78 minus 72 is equal to 6. Bring down 6. 66 divided by 12 equals 5. 5 times 12 equals 60. And then subtract. 66 minus 60 is equal to 6. Bring down 0. 60 divided by 12 is equal to 5. 5 times 12 is exactly 60. So we now have 0 difference. Therefore, the quotient is 655. That ends our video lesson. I hope you now know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions and decimals. Okay, so thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Be good always and God bless us all.